Wanted Adventure! Hosted by Donna Newman. Living here in Europe, I have noticed that sometimes I've started to use some British English words in my English. And that's not to say that I've started using the British English term for something and I've stopped using the American English term for it altogether. No, I think most of the time it's more like I mix them up. Sometimes I use the British English term for it. Sometimes I use the American English term for it. So I thought in today's video, I would share a few examples of this sort of thing that I've noticed myself sometimes doing, starting with the word flat for apartment. A lot of Germans learn British English in school. And so when talking to me about flats slash apartments, a lot of times Germans will use the word flat. Sometimes they'll use apartment as well, but I hear a lot of my flat this, my flat that, I'm looking for a new flat. And so I've started kind of using that sometimes as well. Going along with that, flatmate instead of roommate, which I actually kind of think that flatmate makes more sense than roommate. In college, when I was living for a little bit in a dorm, in my dorm, I had a roommate. Like we were in the same room together. She was my roommate. In an apartment, it's sort of more like an apartment mate, but we don't say that in the US. We say roommate. Even if you're not sharing the same room, you just are in the same apartment together. But in British English, there's the term flatmate. Another example for this is holiday. So in the US, we would say go on vacation, whereas in British English, people say go on holiday. Kind of the same thing, like here in Germany, a lot of people when speaking English use the British English, go on holiday. And so I've kind of picked that up as well. And so sometimes I'll say I'm going on holiday or I think I still more often use going on vacation, but I have noticed myself sometimes using like, how was your holiday? But then I also do use vacation, so all mixed up. Another one, CV for resume. I did learn when I first moved to Europe that CVs and resumes are not the same thing. Like when I looked into them, I found out that a resume looks different from a CV, but just sort of generally speaking about like a breakdown of what I've done in my life. So in German, a Lebenslauf, I will sort of now interchangeably use the terms resume and CV, even though I did learn that technically a resume and a CV aren't the same thing. I have found myself sort of using those two terms interchangeably. The next example that I have for this is post, as in mail, M-A-I-L. And I'm pretty sure that I just took this one straight from German and that's where I got this because in German, mail is called post. So I've started saying like, did you check the post? I don't, I haven't started to say post box. I still say that thing that the, that the post comes in or that the mail comes in is the mailbox. And it's a mail carrier, not, I don't know, in British English, is it a post carrier or I don't know. I don't even know what a mail carrier is in British English. I still use mailbox and mail carrier. And I still say, did you check the mail? But sometimes I will also say, did you check the post? And last one for this video is the roundabout. Roundabout, that is 99.9%, .9%, I would say the term that I use for it. So the American English is apparently traffic circle. And I know that term, like it rings a bell. I'm like traffic circle, oh yeah, ding, ding, ding. I know that one. But I would say I most often use roundabout. And I feel like, don't we sometimes use roundabout in the US too? Like I, I don't think that calling traffic circles roundabouts is something that has developed only since I've lived here in Europe. But I don't know, please let me know down in the comments. In the US, are they only called traffic circles or are they sometimes called roundabouts as well? 
And now, after I just asked a question, another one. So my question for you is, which of these terms do you use? Or maybe you use both. And what other words have you noticed being different in British English and American English? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video where I'm talking about a few food don'ts here in Germany. Until next time, until tomorrow, auf Wiedersehen. Want to watch another video? Here are two. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. Bis morgen!